All right, good afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea. Time to talk a little weather, and we actually have quite a bit to discuss. Of course, we're into week two of our 2024 Atlantic hurricane season, day 11, and things are trying to heat up a little bit out there in the tropics, and particularly in the Gulf of Mexico, we now have a system that could potentially develop into our first tropical depression or tropical storm of the season, and it is in the Gulf of Mexico. So, like I said, lots to talk about. This is, of course, where we look to see if we could have any tropical cyclone formation, particularly for the month of June. The Gulf of Mexico, one of those areas to watch, and that is exactly where we have some brand new development. We also look into the Western and Northwestern Caribbean Sea to see if we have anything developing. Nothing just yet there, but we also usually tend to look over towards the Bahamas, the Eastern seaboard to see if we can get anything going here. This is another hot spot if we were to get anything of a tropical nature to develop in the month of June. Of course, as we've been telling you, waters out there, sea surface temperatures are super warm like bath water. We've got temps well into the 80s for the Gulf of Mexico, for the Caribbean, for a big chunk of the Atlantic. So unusually warm waters for this early in the season. So that could spell some trouble as we go through the next several days. So I'm sure you want to know what is going on in the Gulf of Mexico, and this is what is happening. This is our tropical outlook, seven day development potential, and we now have a new invest, our first of the 2024 Atlantic Basin hurricane season. This is called Invest 90L, and it is just off of the west coast of the Florida Peninsula, and it is already dragging up a ton of moisture to parts of South Florida, where they could get anywhere from six to 12 plus inches of rain over the next couple of days. So you know what that means, a big flooding threat. In fact, over the last hour or two, the Miami area, Dade County, definitely dealing with some very heavy rain and they were under a flash flood warning. So certainly things going downhill with that flood threat increasing for South Florida. So we've got Invest 90L. Right now, the National Hurricane Center giving this a 10% shot for development through the next two days. So we are going to be dealing with just a low shot for this to develop. Right now, it's a very disorganized area of showers and storms. It's a weak area of low pressure in the eastern Gulf of Mexico, just off of the western coast of Florida. Over the next seven days, it's got a 20% chance for tropical cyclone development. So here's what we're expecting. It is pushing off to the north and east, so it's going to roll right over the Florida Peninsula over the next day or two. Then it's going to reemerge into the western Atlantic, east of Jacksonville, likely right off the Carolina coast. So this area you see shaded in yellow indicates where it could actually reorganize once it crosses Florida, and we could see some potential development there as well. In fact, that is going to be where we have the best shot for this to develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm if it is going to get stronger. We've been telling you the last few days about a ton of tropical moisture, that plume of tropical moisture basically impacting a big portion of Central America. We've got a lot of moisture, showers and storms up towards the Yucatan Peninsula, right around Cozumel, right off of the west coast of Central America. Quite a few showers and storms bubbling up there. Nothing organizing to where we would say we're concerned about a tropical system just yet. But of course, in the eastern Gulf of Mexico, west of Miami, we do have that area of disturbed weather, that tropical disturbance or tropical wave that we are now monitoring. So here's the latest. Once again, it's Tropical Wave Invest 90L. We've got the 1 p.m. advisory. That is the most recent advisory location, 26.9 degrees north, 83.9 degrees west. Wind in this fairly weak at this point. It's pretty disorganized, but it is a weak area of low pressure with winds around 25 miles per hour and movement is to the northeast at 13 miles per hour with pressure right around 1009 millibars. So that northeasterly track would take it right across the Florida Peninsula and that is going to mean a ton of rain for folks across central and southern Florida, Miami, West Palm Beach, over towards Naples, up towards Orlando, and eventually Jacksonville in North Florida likely going to get quite a bit of rain from this system. So let's check out what's going on across 
the Florida area right now. This is central and southern Florida. You can see the Fort Pierce area, Fort Myers, Naples down towards Miami, and we've got a ton of rain rolling in that tropical moisture increasing already. You can see Miami just getting inundated with heavy rain Naples, a ton of rain, Sarasota, the Bradenton area, lots of rain, and it's going to be the same story up towards Tampa Bay as well. Just a lot of heavy downpours, maybe some strong storms mixing in. But bottom line, if you have any travel plans to central or southern Florida, plan on some delays becoming likely with a high flash flood risk here. In fact, we still have that flash flood warning that I was telling you about for the Miami area that now continues all the way through 8 p.m. right around Miami and close to Fort Lauderdale. We do have a flash flood warning here as well, and that continues through 645. So not the best weather day across central and south Florida for the Sunshine State. Not a ton of sunshine for the Florida Peninsula right now with that potential tropical system impacting the area. Now, I don't expect that area of potential tropical cyclone action to come our way. However, once that crosses the Florida Peninsula and pushes likely off of the Carolina coast, we're actually going to be watching more additional development that will be possible in the Gulf of Mexico. So we're watching the Gulf, a big tropical plume of moisture is expected early next week. It's likely going to be between Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. So notice our GFS model Sunday showing a lot of moisture getting kicked up into the Gulf of Mexico and Basically, since yesterday, the big plume of moisture has kind of shifted to the west a little bit more. So that would put Houston more in line for some of that heavy rain. So, of course, this track will likely kind of shift back and forth over the coming days. But bottom line, it is a holiday weekend. It's Father's Day weekend coming up. Father's Day this Sunday. You may have plans with dad. You may have some plans early next week on Monday and Tuesday. And for much of next week, our six to 10 day precip outlook showing above average precipitation for a big chunk of the Gulf Coast, including the Houston area. And that is mainly because we are expecting a lot of that tropical moisture to surge northward. So we're certainly monitoring that closely. In fact, here's another model showing our future cast rain totals. And notice through about Thursday night, 11 p.m., not a ton going on for New Orleans over towards Houston, but over the next few days, a ton of rain for central South Florida, several inches of rain likely before that potential tropical system moves on. Then the rain likely will start to increase for us, especially after Sunday night by Monday, Tuesday. This model painting a ton of rain rolling right into Houston, so this track could change as we get more updates, as we fine tune this, but right now, this particular model showing that things could get pretty wet, soggy and messy for us by early next week on Monday and Tuesday. So, of course, keep checking back day by day and we will keep you updated with the latest forecast models. But we are tracking the tropics closely. Bottom line thing to know, the tropical disturbance in the eastern Gulf will bring lots of rain to Florida for the next few days, but it's not going to have a major impact on us because it's moving away from us. But we are still watching the Gulf for a plume of moisture Sunday through Monday and even into Tuesday that could head in our direction and we could have a trough or weak area of low pressure possibly developing in parts of the Gulf early next week. That could have some pretty big impacts on our weather. So you certainly need to stay tuned for updates. Of course, we will let you know if that track changes and if things kind of start to go downhill for us. So I don't think we're looking at a big tropical storm or hurricane heading our way early next week, but there definitely could be quite a bit of rain and we could have a little weak tropical system that could get close to the area. So definitely stay tuned.